Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, I want to discuss my latest thoughts on the spec map, the version 3 of our spec map, which seems to be pretty legit. This one, um, based on what I'm hearing, um, this one seems to be kind of the final spec map. Most of this stuff um, will probably be coming here. I mean, Chucky, of course, and The Last of Us were announced, but some of this other stuff, uh, it's been on all the spec maps. Um, it seems pretty pretty likely so let's go let's get into it all right so chucky is going into the k, k george parking lot last of us is going by the mummy we know that now um, exploring attractions was on the studio tour a couple days ago and he spotted the one of the sound stages open and what something looked very similar to eddie's cabin from or eppy's eddie's no trailer from stranger things 4 uh, I've heard from uh, a source that the so uh, that the Stranger Things for it was coming. I heard this a couple of months ago. Seems to all be confirmed now. Stranger Things four seems to be here. It seems to be the facade seems to be Eddie's trailer from the show, and it's going to be in a soundstage, which will be pretty cool. Two sound stages will be used, or at least two will be used in this year's event, which is awesome. I just really hope that this Stranger Things maze is better, or house is better than. Stranger Things 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to change 1 and 2 because those uh, were more like elaborate walkthroughs instead of like scary or even remotely scary houses. Same thing going to Ghostbusters. It's kind of a walkthrough, family friendly walkthrough. The weekend last year was a headliner house, but that was also had some decent scares in there. I mean, legitimate people in my group jumped multiple times throughout that house, and that was a headliner attraction. So hopefully, with Vecna, that's an actual scary villain in Stranger Things 4. They've had many, but this could be a... It's perfect for a costume. It's just a human uh, looking all ugly. So you can have a whole bunch of Vecnas popping out at you. Not a lot of dark and creepy uh, tones in Stranger Things 4. Uh, one, of my, one of my favorite my favorite season of them all. Cannot wait for five in a couple of years. But... This house has the potential to actually be really, really good and be one of a be be a highlight. No, be a be a highlight of the Stranger Things uh, highlight of the franchise of the Stranger Things Mages highlight of the event. I hope they can really knock it out of the park, unlike previous times, because uh, yeah, they kind of uh, Universal kind of wasted the Stranger Things IP. Their facades weren't really good, so this the facade is already the best facade of the of the three mazes, which is great. Um, so it gives me high hopes for this uh, Stranger Things maze, and it will certainly with The Last of Us will be a headliner, but Stranger Things is the true headliner because that is a massive, massive show. Unfortunately, it looks like Lady Gaga disappeared from the the uh, map, which is, sucks because again, they were so successful with the weekend last year with the musical guest that I was very excited for potential Lady, Lady Gaga maze. Hopefully she returns in a future event. Now she has the same kind of crazy, twisted, awesome mind that The weekend does, and I think she'll do a really good Halloween Horror Nights house. Um, so hopefully she re returns or comes in a future event. But Holidays in Hell, still room to go in the back lot over there. The facade looks like the Holidays in Hell facade from 2019, so it's it's likely going to be that. We kind of all guessed that by now. The Exorcist is still rumored to be coming in here, probably based on the new movie that is coming out this fall. It's a remake of the remake. I think there's been a couple of remakes of The Exorcist. But yeah, there's a new one coming out this fall. And that's looking, I think it's from Jason Blum, who is again, under Universal. Universal that is the Universal's guy. You know, that's the Blumhouse maze. That will be like the Blumhouse maze, basically. You know, there's a Blumhouse maze every year. That would be it, the Exorcist. So that's cool. As long as it's not the same thing from a couple of years ago, because we had it so recently. I just hope it's not just the same thing. Hopefully, there's a couple new rooms or just a whole new layout. That'd be really awesome. Moving on to the Terror Tram celebrities, I still don't really like that idea. Terror Tram, as you know, if you watch my channel, you know I'm not the biggest fan of the Terror Tram. Um, so it really has, it needs to have a strong IP. Something like the Purge uh, is good for the Terror Tram. But celebrities, I, I don't get. So it would be like a whole bunch of celebrities, like dead celebrities getting you. I, I, I'm confused. But uh, Terra Tram is here, and it's, uh, it's it's fun for people who have never been on it before and who are traveling from out of town. Is it still some, it's uh, 
he needs to get off the tram so you know you don't just like the studio tour in the daytime it's very unique to universal studios hollywood and the terror tram is a very unique to any horror experience here in really north america there's not really anything like it so it's pretty it's good for first timers then we have evil dead rise now evil dead rise is actually supposed to come last year but the movie got delayed so they made it to universal's horror hotel if you look at if you watch the evil dead rise movie even just the trailer especially that bathtub scene it looks very very similar to the universal's horror hotel which was an original maze but it was an original maze based out of necessity since evil dead rise got delayed so they just made it its own thing probably left all the sets in there and they can easily repurpose them a very light touch-up to make it evil dead rise that's their prop that was probably the first maze or house they've gotten done because it was just so similar to universal's horror hotel um so that's almost a lock i mean i could have guessed that immediately the movie came out this year did very well um and again very cheap to reuse those sets um evil dead rise isn't likely coming in the form of walking dead space so uh, again horror hotel is a good good house so i'm excited for evil dead rise should be good this original probably only have looks like one original here uh, which is very low for hollywood they should have a couple more in my opinion um i holidays in hell i guess it's kind of an original but it's like a reused original so it's like a repeat you know like I'm talking like a like a like a brand new concept like this. The owl I think is La Lechuza. Again, pardon my Spanish. I am not the best at Spanish, but from what I've been seeing online, that owl represents and what John Birdie has even hinted something like La Lechuza, which I guess is a Hispanic or a horror legend of some sort, and yeah, makes sense because the past couple of years, you know, or last year, Curse of La Llorona was there and. That scare zone has always been kind of a had a Spanish uh, Spanish vibe going on there when you exit that house. So makes sense. I'm excited for this original. This is probably one of the ones I'm most excited for besides Last of Us and Stranger Things 4 because it's just something a totally new concept there. And the classic Monsters Maze again is moving locations. Now it's back in the Key George parking lot and I guess it's to uh, Classic Monsters Paris. Uh, that has stayed the same. Some have uh, rumored that was Phantom of the Opera or some sort of Dracula type ordeal there. But we'll have to see. The Monster's Maze is the past couple or houses ha have been pretty good. Legends Collide last year was amazing. I loved that house. So I have very high hopes for whatever this Monster's Paris house is because it seems pretty cool. Uh, side note, Megan is going to have a roaming horde. The Megan roaming horde is going to be a character experience kind of roaming around the park just like the big giant stilt guy was last year and uh, they've been casting for that megan horde already so that should be very exciting i loved the movie megan so i definitely want to try to take a picture with them if they if they allow me to the death eaters will be back the death eaters are here right now in universal studios hollywood but they'll be back and um scaring people in horror nights I don't think there'll be any wand battles or anything though with like there are now so that sucks but they'll be there like last year which is awesome no dark art show though um the castle will just be they have that projection mapping facade that it usually does there'll be three scare zones that are still unknown one or potentially two shows the show this year will be in the water world venue could be slaughter world could be something entirely brand new but it probably will not be the jabberwockies thank goodness and Ashley just did a video on there's rumors that the DreamWorks Theater could be used as another show venue. So I'll link that up in the top right corner. You can check those out for those rumors and what type of show may be there. But yeah, overall, pretty solid event. Last year's event was so, so good, though, with the weekend. Oh, my God. I cannot. Ah, that, that's going to be a tough mate house to to follow. That was, I had a real good time last year with the weekend and the weekend bar. But I'm excited for this year's event as well. I'll be their opening night and maybe even team member preview night to film all the houses for you as I did last year. That was super fun filming them and uploading them right away. And I'm excited for the Megan Roaming Horde, the Death Eaters, and all these new mazes, uh, houses, especially to see if Stranger, Stranger Things can prove itself and really be, be a marquee house this year. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up, uh, subscribe for more Think Park updates. Let me know what, what house are you most excited for? And do you think Stranger Things can actually be a good house this year let me know in the comments below and as always 
Have a horrific day.